Hi guys, good to have you all back. I have a lovely project for us in mind today. I want to do a snippet roll. Now I am using uh, this sort of very vintage old looking cash register roll or receipt roll or however you want to call it. But this is going to be a use up your stash video. Yes, we're going to use scraps and bits and bobs that we have lying around. We never use, we regret buying. We need to use them up, yes? Clean up your craft supplies. <laughs> Make room for more lovely craft supplies. Okay, guys. Um, very easy project. Yes, going to be relaxing. Some collaging, some decorating. It's going to be lovely. Uh, let me show you the supplies that I am using for today. And give you some alternatives. Well, for one, I'm using this roll. You don't need this, guys. Make small strips of paper yes use uh well this these are actually my glue pages use um smaller strips of paper we can sort of attach them together while we are decorating and collaging and such so um if you're going to do it um this way use paper that is very light yeah because register roll paper is extremely light i'm going to damage the first part but that's okay i have a bunch of these i keep finding these in thrift shops and such and you could actually order if you want this you could actually order this uh on amazon because they're still the registers oh yeah so i'm using this yeah i'm gonna give you measurement this is probably two and a half inches wide something well oh, a little two and a quarter inch but have it three or whatever so i'm gonna use this for the base now for collaging i'm using up my scraps now i am very organized with my scraps Yes, so I have everything sort of organized according to, well, whatever my organization system is. I'm going to show you. And for decorating, I'm using this. Use anything you want, lovies. Use anything you want. Scraps, whatever. Uh, these are poster stamps albums. Don't make these, guys. I buy these. Well, empty. And I have in here washi stickers, normal stickers, all sorts of small things that i bought years ago yes on aliexpress i don't buy that anymore because it's the same stuff i never use it so i have all sorts yeah i have them sort of organized <laughs> according to whatever um these are all sort of my botanicals that i really like and then over here i have the, the, the sticker stickers yes so these are not washi stickers these are more the shiny stickers um i'm gonna use these i want to use these now i do um want to decorate a little bit more with maybe some vintage top stuff maybe a poster stamp or a label i want to do some distressing and stamping i'm going to use you know my favorite sort of dot stamps and splatter stamps yeah for tools well i'm using this yeah just glue stick any glue that you want guys now um when i'm collaging on here uh, probably stuff is going to stick out you can have it like this for sure sort of a raggedy snippet roll i'm not gonna do any sewing guys no sewing um but what i want to do is um afterwards sort of cut it straight again for this i probably use um, a knife and a ruler yeah just to have it straight is that it mm, probably probably but you can use anything guys if you want to have some fabric on here some i don't know buttons whatever um however if you're going to use this the the sort of snippet roll will be bulky i want to have it all paper yeah and for paper i'm using paper that is thinner so no scrapbook paper because that will sort of not bend easily so thinner paper printed on copy paper or just book pages and uh, washi tapes, washi stickers, you know, the stuff that we all have. You have it. I know you have it. You told me so. Yeah. So let's use up our bits and bobs that we never use. Let's first take out some scraps. Um, I have these uh, organized. These are the strips. I'm going to use some strips. I have some wallpaper. I'm not going to use any wallpaper scraps because these are uh, really much heavier. So just in the paper. And these are all maps and such. So I'm going to use some of this as well. Then in here I have uh, old book pages, all sorts, music and some uh, different languages, some index pages and, and anything, basically anything. Yes, these are my sort of bigger scraps. 
Then I have one with, I call this specialty papers because it's not really normal paper, like doilies, braille paper, pattern paper. I'm not going to use this, of course, corrugated cardboard. Uh, glassine, vellum, uh, tissue paper. I don't know, packaging materials and, uh, well, all sorts, all sorts. Oh, I saw someone uh, use these. These are, uh, the other day on Instagram, I saw a post, someone make, made pockets of this. And that was a brilliant idea. Yes, these are sort of the papers that you hold your negatives in, yeah. Um, yeah, so, oh, I need to keep this out. That was a fantastic idea. I am definitely going to steal that idea. Um, well, borrow it, borrow it. I was inspired by someone. Then these are the papers that I use for backing on tags and journal cards and such. So lined paper, grid paper, uh, plain paper that you can journal on. Yeah, oh, I love this. And then um, more, more modern book pages. The first one I showed you with the book page are more like the antique book pages, but have normal book pages. Some of them have some images on them. I have loads, guys, I have loads. Yellow pages, yeah, yellow pages. You hardly ever find these uh, books anymore. Maps and, you know, stuff. So that's what I'm using to make a background with. So what am I going to do, guys? I'm going to take um, a pile of everything, just some bits, and then we're just going to start collaging, yeah? Um, and it doesn't really matter. You can have straight pieces, torn pieces, no worries, whatever you want. Loads of scraps. Also took out this small box that I have with very interesting sort of vintage looking scraps. I am not using any digitals or design paper, guys. Just book pages and, you know, whatever. So, yeah, I have loads. I have loads. All sorts. They're going to be very eclectic, guys. So, there you go. Um, my roll, if you don't have this roll, yeah, just um, cut out strips of like, say, uh, two and a half inches. That'll be a nice, nice size. So I'm using a, a roll, putting the roll over there. And then because it just rolls up, I'm just flipping it over on my, underneath my um, mat. So it will lie straight. Are we going to have something underneath? Let's, that's maybe a smart idea. So yeah. Okay. Let's start collaging. Yes. Oh, I really want to do this. Yes. Uh, some lovely coffee dyed paper. So, hope you all had a wonderful 4th of July. I am still to celebrate my 4th, our 4th of July. I'm filming this in advance, guys. Uh, I'm trying to sort of stay within the lines. If I don't, that's okay. I'm going to cut it out later. It's basically the same color, love. I know. I know. I know. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. And it's just ripping stuff. See, this is the way I'm going to go about it. Just putting stuff on yes uh my husband and i we are taking a short break it's a uh, holiday we have a holiday but i don't because i have youtube so i need to film always always otherwise you guys would be sad see i just i don't even know what this is i'm just gonna put it on so on 4th of july we are celebrating our fifth wedding anniversary and uh, we are doing this by having a lovely meal <laughs> because that's what we really like we are not traveling people no uh, do we want to have this on? yes we want to have this on here no so we don't go on holidays um you know to spain or turkey or whatever is popular in the netherlands we just most of the time stay we are like an old couple we are not really an old couple but we stay in we stay in Oh, I'm using up so many scraps. That is so lovely. I don't know how long I want this roll to be. I think rather long. About, uh, I, I'm, I'm sorry guys, I can only say this in meters. Um, about a meter for sure, maybe a meter and a half. So, which is long. Let's see, what else do I have? Um, oh yeah, let's do, let's do some of this. Let's do some of this. Need something underneath or oh, what does it need underneath this am i still in frame just just about just oh that's interesting that's why i kept it yes 
So yeah, we are celebrating our fifth wedding anniversary. And also um, going on a small sort of thrifting trip, of course. <laughs> I want to visit some thrift shops on, on the way. So that's what we're doing. I'm making I'm making a plan. Oh, isn't this lovely? I already like it, guys. I already like it. So, yes, I'm just scratching it in and doing the next part. I did some sort of snippet rolls before on my channel. Do we want... Uh, oh, let's have him like so. Oh, yeah, that's cool. That's really cool. But we need to have something in the background. Um, yeah, I did it before. I believe two or three times. I really like it. I also do large uh, book page snippet rolls. That is cool. Just have some book pages that you don't use. Start collaging and at the end of the book page. Put the other book page next to it and then collage over it. Yeah, so it is going to be one large uh, book page. I am going to do this. Need something here now. What does it need? A little bit of color. Oh, let's have a little bit of color. What would you use it for? Well, you know, I enjoy making it. Um, but you can make tags out of this. Put it on a tag. Or make belly bands. Or just cut it up in small clusters. I'm going to decorate a little bit later. And then it will form more sort of clusters. Now it's just one long strip. It's just cool to have this guy on here. It's from a very old cookbook. Do we want some map? It's too heavy. Not this map. Oh, I have a piece of airmail envelope. Is this too close to... Uh... No, it's not. No, it's not. I'm just going to move it over. I'm going to cut it a piece off, guys, because it's taking out way too much. Now, there are so many ways. A little bit higher, love. So many ways to make a snippet roll. You can make it from lace and fabric and such. Um, ooh, I have a number 10. <laughs> um, but then you need a sewing machine. Well, you could glue it, but I think it's better to have a sewing machine if you do this method. And I don't enjoy using my sewing machine. I have this one on here. What else do we have? Oh, I have a... Um, is this from Monopoly or something? No. Well, from a game. A game. Do we want something on here? Sure. Sure. I'm ripping it up. It's vintage stuff. I know. I don't care. I have a gazillion of these because I bought a game. <laughs> and then you have lots. Are you? What are you going to do? Keep it? Just, you know, look at it? No. Use it. That's what I'm doing today. Using up... Stuff that we have loads of. Stuff that we love. I mean, I love this. It's fantastic, right? Yeah. But the stuff that I'm decorating with later is not some something that I really enjoy. I thought I might. I bought it years ago when I started sort of bullet journaling and such. What's this? It's too wide. Don't be picky, love. Just put something on. I'm just going to put something on. Yeah, that's, a, that's the problem, guys. What happened was, um, of course, AliExpress is very cheap. But if you buy a lot on there, never use it, then it's actually way too expensive. We're going to have this on here. It needs something underneath. Oh, let's do something of this uh, flight manual paper whatever I'm gonna scooch it in these are long pieces are they too long no it's gonna be fine it's gonna be fine it's gonna be fine my husband studied to be a pilot so these are 
uh, from his studies. Beautiful paper, it's like, sort like sort of tissue paper, it's very thin, like Bible paper, and has flight plans on it. How fantastic is this? And then with an airmail envelope strip. <laughs> yeah, very appropriate. You could do this color coordinated, guys, or just with a theme. I'm just doing it whatever I feel like. Yeah. Just putting stuff on. Don't be stuck. Don't be stuck. Do we need more? We need more. I'm going to do a little bit more, guys. More tissue paper. Oh, I have this. Yeah. Um, I'm, I was hoarding this since forever, but I'm going to use it now. What? Yes, I'm going to use it. I'm just going to use a piece. Why not? Yeah. It's, you know, just typed stuff in red. <laughs> oh, hopefully it didn't get stuck. No, it's okay. See, it's bleeding now because of the glue. Great. What else do we need? What else do we want? Numbers? Numbers. Yes, we want numbers. And what do we want underneath? I have... And that's too much of the same color. Something interesting. I stamped some mushrooms on here. Yeah? yeah. Yes. Just do it. Don't think about it. Just glue stuff on. Now, if you're just starting out, guys... Um, Newspapers, magazines, brochures. Use anything you can get your hands on. If only to um, sort of get the hang of it. Yeah? You don't need to start out with the really cute vintage stuff that I'm using. Yes. <laughs> Just going to put this on. You have another glue page, love. Yes, let's put it on here. From, it's part of an envelope. Stamp on the envelope. It says men's clothing. Don. Don's men, men's clothing. Well, okay, Don. Piece of tissue paper. This is probably Tim Holtz. Ew. Yeah. How tall is it now? Oh, I made, I stamped these labels. And it's the perfect size. So I'm just going to put it on. What did I stamp it on? Some sort of packaging paper, I think. Yeah. It needs a strippy. So I'm going to put on this strippy. At the beginning, guys, I saved every sort of uh, scrap that I have. You really don't need to. What I recommend is save the, the scraps that you love. I love this, yes. This is, yeah, it's very nice to stamp on, you know. Um, but how many of these do we, does one need? Not that many. Oh, cute, right? I'm going to do this or this. a vintage sewing pattern there you go just a little piece guys and then we're gonna oh i have this in here shall we just oh, i'm gonna, just gonna do it another sort of aliexpress thingy label thingy yeah loads of those never use them you have them as well i'm not saying stop buying there but stop buying a lot <laughs> Yes, minimize it. Let's see, guys. I think... Uh, yeah, I think I have enough. I have enough. Now, what am I going to do? I'm going to cut it to size. Yeah, so we have a lovely strip. Of, well, this is two and a quarter inch. But maybe your strip is three inches or what have you. And then let's start decorating. 
cut it all straight. I'm starting from the bottom, working my way up. It is it is a really, really nice. Uh, you know, I, I would say you could be done. <laughs> yes, well, you could be done. Guys, uh, leave it as is. Yes, keep it. And then uh, use it when you have a certain theme. If you want to do something florals or something, whatever. Frogs, you know, lilies, whatever. Uh, I'm just going to do uh, something really eclectic. Maybe, maybe a, a bit... Um, botanically Botan botanically but well, that's that's not an english word love but that's okay i need to hold it still hold still yeah because i have this book uh with washi stickers that are mostly botanical or or something like it but also these modern ones Wh when am i going to use this well today you're gonna use it today yeah so i'm gonna put on some of these lovely stickers and um this is is this a sticker it is or you can even sort of layer them yeah that's that's what i'm gonna do and there's a plant underneath as well so using your stickers and maybe some washi tapes and just use them up because i have so many so so many and i, I don't think they're ugly no uh but i have i just have too many also don't mind having stuff stick out. That's probably what I'm going to do with some of it. Oh, it does look lovely. It does look lovely. There we go. Use up your stuff. What else do we have? Are we going to do all botanical? Oh, why not? I have a desk. Do you want to put the desk on? <laughs> why, why not? Well, these are actually probably all made for maybe bullet journalers or to decorate well your journal with. And um, I probably told this a gazillion times. I did bullet journaling for a month or two. Really didn't enjoy it. It was very confrontational. Yes, I, I kept sort of track how much um well what i did in a day like how much did you eat a lot how much did you drink not enough <laughs> yeah so um yeah i at one point i just didn't enjoy it anymore oh it's cool it's cool i'm gonna decorate some more guys this is layer one let's just say this is layer one layer one what else do we have yes i have lots of these um yeah, I don't know. Don't know. Yeah, sure. It says green plant, green. Yeah, some of the, this is all from China, of course. And um, if you do buy there and you buy something with a text on it, be sure, guys, uh, to read it. <laughs> Just because there's probably something on it that you like. Excuse me, what? Yeah, like, the path to glory is always rugged, okay. It's dessert time. I don't know. Oh, shall we do something that says summer? No, no. Oh, yeah, these. These I have used uh, now and then. Yeah, they are lovely. Uh, by hand? Are you going to do this by hand? For some reason... I, I cut straighter with this than with scissors. I don't know what it is with me and scissors. Uh, well, this was lying around, so I'm just going to put it here. You're also going to put it here. Are you waiting to do something somewhere? Oh, I'm not even making a dent in these stickers. I was like, I'm going to use all of them. Well, then you need the whole cash, cash register roll. If you want to use all of them. I don't think this goes well with the green. I have some lovely green stuff. These I'm keeping guys. Yes, the mushrooms for sure, for sure. There are bunnies on here. Don't do bunnies. No, I'm not doing bunnies. Or teddy bears. I am doing this, however. What's this? Oh, 
comes very well here. See? Yeah, it says blue. Going to have it half off, or well, partly off. Yeah, but you skipped the whole bit. Yes, I skipped the whole bit, but there's lots of green on here. Um, something contrasting. Yes! Big blue flower. Yes, it's a flower. <laughs> yes, I know it's a flower, guys, but I was like, is this watercolored or photographed? It's probably it looks like a handmade flower. Yeah. Oh, I have some numbers. Six. Okay. I actually forgot to do some background stamping because the stamping on top of the stickers will smudge. So I need to do some stamping in between all the stickers that I've done. Lovely ride, it's so relaxing. This is so relaxing to do, guys. And you use up your stuff. Well, some of it at least. Mushrooms. Yeah, these are all my florals. Botanicals, I'm keeping those. What else do I have? Was that it? No, I have more stuff here. What, what? Well, that actually is cute. That's actually cute. Why don't you use it then? If it's cute, you can use it, yeah. Well, this definitely is going to be in all sorts. That's on crooked. Can we can we still remove it? Careful, careful, careful. Because there's vintage paper underneath. It's taking off the ink. Can you see? Yeah. Have it on straight, love. Have it on straight. Better. Mint leaves. This looks like mint leaves. Well, mint leaves it is. I really want this one on here, so I'm gonna put it there. Cute. Well, we're already almost at the end. I am missing something here. Not with the green, there's too much green. Oh, there's more green here. Oh, I have these, um, yes, these uh, dolly something, dolly, I don't know. You guys told me uh, what her name was, but I forgot. Something. Dolly, they're cute. Yeah, this one. Oh. Little Red Riding Hood. Oh yes, she's cute. Cute, right? Yeah. <clears throat> Do we want another one of those? I don't know. Um, oh, you have another book, love? Yes, I have this one. It has these sort of ladies in here. I'm just gonna take one out and see where I'll use it. Oh, maybe here in the 
sort of on the frame. Am I in frame? Well, hope so. Oh yeah, no, that actually looks lovely. What else do I have? These, these are the things that I actually never ever gonna use. Um, oh, um, a lawnmower. <laughs> don't know oh let's have a tractor on <laughs> why don't we where i don't know i'm just gonna put a tractor on oh how am i going to make this pretty we don't know we don't know but it's, it's gonna work it's just gonna work why not why not a bird's house what is it a windows Why did you buy all these? Well, I don't know. I thought they were cute and not that expensive. I have no room other than here. Yeah. Do we need some more? Well, I have other stuff that I want to decorate with, guys. I think that's it for all the washi stickers for now. This needs glue. Let's do some... Um, gonna do some sort of background stamping yeah with these i'm gonna use these maybe some numbers and then oh, also washi tape some washi tape guys yeah you think yeah okay let me clean my desk and start with another layer i have washi tapes i just you know grabbed from everywhere uh they are actually all sort of blue green brownish sort of whatever so i also took out some blue green brown um ink pads now um i want to do some of this sort of background stamping with bubbles and splatter stamp but i also have this that i bought years ago on aliexpress these are actually sort of circle sewn whatever can you tell yeah i think i want to use some of this as well um i'm gonna do this one after everything is finished so on top of everything i'm going to do this before i put on washi tapes yeah okay um and i am using these colors i took out vintage photo i'll probably do the edges with vintage photos on distressing but because i've used a lot of the washi stickers i am using claire versafine or versafine claire because um i i think it will sort of hold on the washi stickers do not know for sure but i think it will so that's what i'm gonna try to find out i'm trying to sort of position this roll thingy there you go yeah i'm trying to find out so i'm gonna start here let's just see if it will hold i'm gonna take out the green it says reinforced i'm gonna stamp it on here now will this hold you guys been telling no it doesn't already can tell you guys been telling me tricks how to do this with embossing or with heat tools and such that's way too much fuss for me so um yeah probably not gonna do this yeah that's that's going to be a problem that's going to be a problem so there'll be no stamping on the washi stickers yeah uh pine cone using pine cone need something underneath yeah that's going to be a problem That will take forever to dry, if at all. So I'm going to try to stamp some... Oops! Well, you know, that happened. And that's okay. Um, is that too dark? Well, it's on here now, so... Yeah? Do enough, maybe a little bit on the other side as well. Oops, I'm sorry, I'm still afraid. I don't know, my hand is all the way across the other side of the room. <laughs> yeah, let's do something. Uh, where's the lid? No, that is definitely not drying. Put it on the washi tape. Don't put it on the washi tape, love. 
Just don't. Anywhere but the washi tape. Or washi stickers in this case. I don't even know if it was in frame for half of it. Before I do anything else to this, I really need to let this dry. Yes. So that's what I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to let this dry. I'm going to try to fix this because I stamped on the washi sticker here. Yeah. That's not going to dry anytime soon. So I need to figure this out. And then we're going to go washi tape. Yeah. Okay, let's do some washi. Now, I really want to do some washi on the edges. However, I have uh, sort of found out if I put washi tape on the edge, it will sort of eventually start to curl up. So in instead of sort of cutting it down, I will fold it over. Yeah, it's probably something um, I shouldn't do. But I'm going to fold it over anyway. These are the washi tapes I'm using. I'm not taking out anything other than this. So this is a film strip. And these are not the washies that I don't like. These are washies that are okay. I also have lots of washies that I really don't like. And um, yeah, I put them in a box somewhere. I put, want to put something here. Yeah. I have a box of uh, craft supplies that I bought, you know, whenever. And I, I want to have this ripped. Let's see if I can have this ripped. And I take it out whenever I have uh, one of my nieces or nephews um, over. Well, I only... Well, I have a niece now. I do have a niece. But that's not enough to flip over, love. Yes. Yeah, well, you're going to flip it over. No, that's not enough. I have a niece now, but she is... Well, she's going to be one next week, I guess. So she does not want to craft with my stuff but i have a box whenever children come over which is not a lot because not really a lot of a lot of children um in my family but if they do or the neighbors kids you know if they want to do some crafting i have stuff see i'm gonna flip it over like so works way better than than this but hey it's on there now um something in this green it is going to be lovely once it's done well i already like it there's a lot on here flipping it over on a long strip here of something let's do this some gold in it. Has anyone been playing with the washi tapes from Amity Bloom? Oh, and I, th I think they're so, so gorgeous. They're really, really pretty. But I think the shipping to the Netherlands is way too much. But you're probably all from the States. I'm going to put it on the edge, guys. Yeah. Do something. Yes, you want to do something. I have this piece. Like so. This is still wet. I need a tiny piece of paper to sort of blot it. It's a sort of paper on here. It doesn't want to dry. Because it's dry on other pieces of paper. But not here. Um, num, num. Some grey grit. Does it even show up? Oh, it does. It does. So, why not? Just on some edges. Ooh. Mm. 
Yeah. She needs another sticker or something, doesn't it? Oh, oh, I have these paper doilies. Yeah? Yeah. We're gonna do a paper doily. Let's see. A little bit here and there. Oh yeah, cute. Cute, cute, cute. But then it also needs some tape, of course. Uh, something with the blue. So this. Have you ever used it? Probably, I probably have not. Press the beginning. Yes, I. Uh, yes, I have. Because it's it's torn a bit on the this side. Yeah. Don, I'm gonna put it over your head. What else do we have? What else do we need? Well, we don't need a lot because there's already a lot on. I have this, the stars, or ooh, some brown. This is very old. Because it doesn't really want to stick anymore. I really like this, this green one with the flowers. A bit over here. Oh, that looks lovely. A bit over here. Is there enough on? What do you guys think? Does it need a bit here? Not this, because we already used this. Piece of blue. Yeah? Yeah. I'm gonna go over the, the washi stickers, guys, because some of them are wanting to come off. See, like this. I'm gonna put extra glue on. Yeah. And I, I really think it needs something with labels. What do you guys think? Something with labels? So I'm taking out some labels. Small ones. I have a box of small labels. These are all stickers, so I think I'm going to use most of these. Yes, some half stickers and I need to cut some as well, but that's okay. Um, where am I going to put this? Well, it's a lovely project to do, but where do you keep it? <laughs> okay. I'm going to start on the bottom. Putting it a little bit over the stamp that is sort of smudging. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. So stay. Stay. Uh, I have decided decided against the this stamp, guys. Yeah, I'm not I'm not gonna take any chances. No. And there's one. Does this need glue? No. I have one over here. Or something with a number. Yeah, let's do something with a number. Most of these I'm probably gonna have um, half of a page, unless they are small like this. Do I have one that is cut? Yeah, this one. I'm gonna put it over green plant. Is that a green plant? You don't say. You don't say. I'm throwing it over. Why not? Why not? I'm gonna do one like so. That's the same one. 
We're going to do the same one. Again, I'm putting it over the stamp here because it is bleeding. Yeah, sure, sure, love. Yeah, cool. Does it need something here? Oops. Yeah. And then we're going to do some inking as well. Which will also give it a whole new look. More of a distressed look. What's with the tractor? <laughs> what, what, what was I thinking? I don't know what I was thinking. Oh, this looks actually looks okay. <laughs> Why not put on a tractor? Yeah. Well, sometimes you need just need to get out of your comfort zone. A tractor is definitely outside of my comfort zone. Are we going to cover up Don? The Don? Yeah, this has a lot of white still on the edges. I did not do a very good job with cutting. She's all quiet now, yes, because I do not want to cut in my fingers, love. Have you seen the size of the scissors? Yeah. Okay. Where did we want it? Well, here. Here. A couple more. Just a couple more, guys. Not a big red one or a big blue one. Definitely want this one here. Yes, and a small yellow one there. The style of this snippet roll doesn't make any sense at all. There's absolutely no rhyme or reason or structure to this. Yeah, does it need a... Oh yeah, that's pretty. Yep, blue one here, there's none here, green, covering up the part that says blue, it needs, it needs, a, it needs a something here, yeah, but not a label, so I'm going to take out a piece of washi, which one, no, there's already... Well, actually this one. I do like this one. There's a lot on here. I do want it ripped. I will attempt to fold it over. Let's see how well that will work. Oh yes, that works, that works. Yes, for some reason. Oh, I need a piece there. 
Let's have a piece here. Yes. Okay. Are we done? Well, I think we're done with decorating. But what I want to do is distress it, ink all around it. That's what I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to use Vintage Photo and just do some distressing all around the edges. Finished it. It's cute, guys, if I do say so myself. I really like that it has sort of everything on here. Everything. I'm going to show you up close, yeah? Okay. So, I'm going to start with Dolly something. Dolly something. Yes. With house blend. Um, I did add uh, two or three more things. <laughs> you know me. I want, yeah, like this one. Just wanted to have a label on here. It has all sorts. It's so interesting. It's so interesting. Now, what am I going to do, guys? I'm going to keep it on this roll. I'm going to show you. This is a roll that I made about two years ago. Um, and I'm going to keep it on there. So I'm going to show you. Yeah. Just, you know, all sorts. Eclectic. Please stick down. Probably going to put a little bit of extra glue on this sticker. Isn't that great? <laughs> Just, I really like it. Just to look at, well, what would you use it for? Well, you can cut pieces off and then use it as a, you know, a collage on something in your journal or, or just, you know, look at it. It's just cute. With a tractor, because maybe someday you're going to do something, you know, a farm journal or what have you, then you need a tractor. I absolutely love it. I don't know where I put another. I, I put another sticker here. Yes, I know this for sure. It just needed a sticker. So yeah, I added a little bit something here and there. Yeah. So how am I going to store it? Um, I have this roll. This was actually a roll that had some ribbon on it, a modern one. Yeah. And I put some um, oh, lovely Tim Holtz paper all around it. And I cut out uh, two pieces, well, circles. Again, from the lovely Tim Holtz paper. Did a little bit of decorating on it. And, you know, I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to roll it over. Like so. It will not hold by itself, of course. But that's okay. Because we're going to put a piece of string over it. So, I'm just going to stay there. And roll it up. Like so all lovely yeah and then i need to i need to let go <laughs> it will do this <laughs> and then put a piece of string uh, around it also using up scraps these are just scrap pieces of that's that's not big enough shall we do red yeah i think this is big enough let's just see it, it will it will unravel yeah but that's okay this will hold okay i need more than two hands to do this <laughs> so i'm gonna do this off camera i'm just gonna roll it around make a lovely bow and it will stay yeah managed to do it all by myself it looks very decorative it's just cute it's just cute guys yes just you know, roll it all around put a lovely sort of baker's twine on it and you have it on your desk or as a gift or use it now if you don't have a roll to keep it on you could also uh, already cut it to pieces of course just you know make longer strips yeah, and then uh, keep it and use it in a journal. I'm going to use it as a decorative piece. Really, really enjoy it. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, have it, uh, Give it a go. Give it a go because it's uh, way too much fun not to, <laughs> for one. And uh, you do use up some of your stash. Well, uh, as I mentioned, I didn't even make a dent in it. So I need to make uh, lots more. But it is lovely. At one point, we really loved our small bits and bobs that we bought cheap somewhere so let's start using it i'll be back again tomorrow guys with another video i have no clue what no clue what i will be however back from my holiday so i'll probably have some lovely stories to tell and hopefully some lovely treasures to show so i don't know until then see you then bye guys